Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through PHP decision making. Guys. So the decision making is same as in any other programming language. Here also we will be discussing about if, if else, else if and all those things guys. Okay. So I hope everyone remembers the flow. Guys, I'll be just going through the programming part because coding part you can just read from the PDFs and you can write, right? Okay. Okay. So let us continue. So basically this is the flow chart for if guys okay so you'll be st starting with condition you'll be checking the condition if the condition is true you'll be executing the statements which are inside it if it is false you'll be directly exiting it and you'll be going to the exit step okay so we are having multiple programs and multiple applications with if and if else guys so basically you might be asking that then what is if else student teach us so if else is nothing but if this is true there is nothing so if this is true this is executed if this is not true you will be executing that so that comes under if else okay so you might be asking now what is if else if and else so this is also popular right so here we will be having two conditions so condition if it is false another condition if it is false you will be executing if it is true you will be executing these statements if this is true you will be executing these statements at the end you will be ending up at the same place the end this is the start got it okay so now let us do go through the basic programming that is the only thing why i'm why i'm going a bit fast is because because to make the video a bit short and to make it easy to access right and as i hope everyone if you are going through php you should have some basic knowledge about any programming language so that it will be clear for you okay so if you want me to go through the syntax it is in this way if a condition if the condition is true it will be executed else this condition will be executed okay so if so here we gave D. So I hope everyone remembers that PHP. How we will be writing PHP guys? Question mark close. In between this you will be writing your PHP code. Okay. So always remember that the variables which you are defining will be with the dollar symbol. So dollar symbol specifies the compiler or the specifies the browser that or the server that hey this is a variable. Please remember that. You will be saying. So here D is a variable in which you are storing a date of type that is nothing but a D. So you are storing a D that is a date type. Okay. So similarly, you are checking if $D is nothing but the variable, guys. Remember that wherever you are writing variable, dollar is mandatory. You think that dollar is a fixed thing for variables to write, okay? So $D is equals to FRI you wrote. So you are trying to equate D with the FIR. So double equal to is an operator, guys. We'll be discussing about those operators also. Don't worry, okay? So then you are checking echo is nothing but to print, guys. So in normal, you can even write print, but echo is used commonly in PHP. Okay, echo, have a nice day. Else have a nice day have a weekend sorry have a nice weekend and here we are writing only have a nice day okay so if you execute this you will be obviously you'll be getting have a nice day that's it okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea so now let us go through the another code okay so now this is if else if else else if guys so if this condition is true it will execute this if this condition is false and if the if it will be checking for next condition also and if this condition is true, it will execute in this. If both the conditions are false, obviously it will execute in the else part. Okay. So if you take a small example, again we are here using D, and here we are checking for Friday and Sunday. And at the end you are checking anyway, have a nice day. You are saying. Okay, so assume you took today's a date, that is nothing but D, you assume. So in dollar D you are checking what is the date. Is it Friday? No. Is it Sunday? No. So hence it will be printing, have a nice day. If it is a Sunday, is it Friday to be checking? No. Then you will be checking, is it Sunday? Yes, that is true. So it will be printing that in that way. So basically, these are nothing but decisions, guys. Either this or that. If not this, another thing like that. Decisions will be taken. Okay. Similarly, we are having switch, guys. Okay. So sorry for that. In the C and C++, we usually popularly use switch cases whenever you are doing any kind of project, guys. Even in our mini project, we did use switch cases. Like every one of our project has switch case, guys. Okay okay so initially you will be reusing it in this way guys so remember that everything whenever ram we are writing php code obviously we'll be writing in html and we'll be enclosing it in between the tag php tags okay so initialize you the date to d and you are checking switch date so it indirectly checks this value with the case value this value with this case value this value with this case value this value with this case value so whenever it matches it will be printing the statement and it is break break is nothing but it will be terminating out of this whole loop guys that's it okay okay so at the end you'll be getting some output okay so basically here we wrote for six days we wrote six case statements monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay so default if everything is false it will be executing it's like if if none of the cases matched 
it will be executing this statement okay so basically i think date it was monday so the monday has been matched and you got the final output as monday okay okay guys sorry i think i just told you a small mistake here so basically when you are using in this way it will be collecting the date from the system i think so guys i'm not sure about this so if you are writing in your examination please confirm that first guys so i think i mostly think that it will be collecting the date from the system only like what day it is okay okay so this is just an introduction about decision statements guys okay so in the next lecture we will be going through arrays guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching